Um, welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Friday the 10th of February 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. US markets obviously finished lower overnight to continue what has been a very choppy week in many asset classes. Markets are continuing to look a little buyer shy in equities with those key levels that we've referenced earlier in the week failing to be breached. We saw bond yields rising and really the enthusiasm from the early part of the session lasted less than an hour before we started to see some selling and that continued throughout the session. And we finished at or fairly close to session lows across all of the major indices. Not a massive amount of follow through in Asia today with US futures near neutral. Asian indices are mixed following that weaker US lead. The ASX is around about a half a percent lower. The Nikkei is outperforming and is in positive territory at the moment. European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open at this stage. And for the first time for a couple of weeks, the VIX edged above a key 20 level, suggesting just a little bit of market anxiety creeping in. The US dollar index was near neutral after a very choppy FX day. It was down significantly earlier in the day, but managed to regain all of those losses during the overnight session. Gold dropped again on that US dollar late strength to retest 1860 support where it's sitting at the moment in Asia. Copper managed to have small gains yesterday at the end of the session, but and it's still over that $4 key level, but really it was only a slight edge higher and it is weaker in Asia today. Oil is still in a medium term range that also just pulled back a little bit, pausing from the highs earlier in the week. Bitcoin and cryptos did not have a happy night overnight. There was a fair amount of headlines around the crypto space and companies that deal in cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin ended up with a 5% drop, breaching support, and really looking as though there could be some more selling to come. Earnings season continues, although Friday is often a quiet day. We're around about 75% of the S&P 500 reporting so far. Uh, there was an RBA policy statement released. It fell to excite the AUD, so possibly nothing new there. We've got China CPI and PPI data out. Later on, we've got Euro GDP, Eurozone growth forecasts, and this evening, US consumer sentiment to really finish off what's been a very busy week, again, in terms of news which has market moving potential. Clearly, the end of week message has been the Fed hasn't finished yet and may be slightly more aggressive than perhaps the market is pricing in at the moment. A couple of stocks that caught our eye today. On the ASX, there's very few stocks up, actually. There's only about 35 of the top 200 that are in positive territory. But one of the ones that caught our eye today was Domino's Pizza. They've been subject to a fairly significant down move over the last couple of weeks, but appear to have found a level of support just under $70, around about that $69.75 level. You can see how this was support in July and August last year was resistance prior to this more recent move higher. And you can see it's around about the 200 MA here. We do have an earnings report coming up on, I think it's the 22nd of February. So just do your own due diligence if you are getting interested in that. But there is a potential move up in the short term, possibly to around about $75. And, and if we breach this 200 MA, we could see some buying pressure coming in. It's not a massive return, but it's around about 5%. But just be cognizant of that earnings that is coming out in the not too distant future. On the FX side of things, the Aussie yen is looking very interesting this morning. You can see we're pushing up again towards this 92 level. Uh, in terms of a level of interest, possibly 91.51 would be the level at which you might get technically interested for a long. You can see there, there was that high yesterday, which was just under 92. So there is a potential short term opportunity here but if we look at the daily chart you can see there that this is the short term range we're looking at at the moment to take us perhaps up to 92 which is a technically significant level on the daily chart here here and here so there is a possible opportunity there and one worth keeping an eye on trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now